Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for September 10 to September 16, 2018. So while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to let you know that this is a general reading for the uh, star sign and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, um, I can explain you the meanings of the cards, their position, their synergy, but uh, to make sense of what they're saying, it is your job to do, to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you do want a personal reading, then um, you can check out my website, which uh, is listed down below in the description of uh, this video, where I will make sense of the cards for you. And, you know, I, at my website, you can see the full list of my services and as well their pricing. So now, as the cards are shuffled, the first position, we go with the tarot spread first now. The first position will be regarding the topic of the week. The second position is about the core of the situation or why the topic takes place. Then is the third position here, that it is about the challenges that you Scorpio has to overcome for the duration of the week and then we do have the final card or the final position which is <clears throat> the guidance from Tarot or what is the best course of action we can take for the duration of uh, this week. So let's see what we Scorpios has here. Now we do have the Tree of Swords as a topic of the week so Tree of Swords is rather an unpleasant card so maybe we have to face some unpleasant circumstances but when we're talking about Tree of Swords just in general, <clears throat> this card most likely or very often refers to a, a painful truth that may come to uh, our awareness and that doesn't necessarily have to be a truth given to, um, set to us from somebody else. Maybe uh, we can conclude a, a certain truth about ourselves and that will make us feel bad all right in some senses it makes us feel as well despondent uh, it, it make it, it it could make us um, being regretful about certain actions that we have taken from uh, that we have taken uh, into our past and uh, that maybe we want to turn back the time you know and to correct our actions now the very important thing with the Tree of Swords is that our mind it is what is the fuel for those negative emotions that we may have um, <clears throat> within ourselves. So it's very important when we do have a Tree of Swords for a topic, um, and not just for a topic as well, everywhere the Tree of Swords falls uh, in the Tarot spread, you know, to um, be resigned regarding what is happening and what and what had happened in the past and um, in some cases or in, in the most of the cases as well to recognize that it's not even much that can be done right now and allowing those thoughts to just twist and tangle through our minds uh, it's just going to make us feel even more lost in the situation than we are right now so Tree of Swords could manifest in a many different ways that painful truth could be uh, the realization that you are not uh, that we are not as good as we think we are into our work or that we are not giving as much as we can you know into our job as well it could be also uh, a manifestation where we realize that we are not as good partner in the relationship as we can be or it could be as well that we are not loved from our partner as we want to be you know it will be different for every single one of us that particular manifestation of three of swords but <clears throat> uh, the the key to that card to heal ourselves from uh, this painful truth coming into our way is to just accept it all right accept it live through it drink through it if you have to you know sleep through it but just put yourself together when um, 
you know when all that process is um, is over and just move on so that week is going to be i think a week of level of revelations and we have to accept those revelations no matter how big influence or you know how devastating in some cases it can be upon our nature and the core of that or why it is happening here we do have the, the six of pentacles <clears throat> often uh, associated with help and support but it just in many cases in in other cases it's about the current <clears throat> What I mean is that this is just the natural flow of events. The uh, Six of Pentacles is one of the cards uh, pointing that the help really does not resolve our problems. It just makes our problems to be postponed. It makes our problems to be um, suppressed for that particular time, but it does not solve them. So I do believe that the truth we are going to come around here is that actually we wasted our time trying to find, you know, support and help to overcome a certain predicaments and difficulties into our environment, either regarding relationship or either regarding career, you know, or specific methods we had used <clears throat> to obtain what we want are turning out to be rather futile and now we have to um, you know we have to just change our strategy for what is up to come so basically we may uh, as I said we may realize you know that we are not as good as we thought we are and uh, probably there is someone else especially if we're talking about competition which is performing much better than we do and that may um, you know that may throw us in a state where we kind of um, are starting to think the less of ourselves. Now, <clears throat> Six of Pentacles is a card of create uh, as well of creative expression. It is a, a card of where one is taking on the uh, the difficulties that one has, and uh, probably uh, in that particular sense, these cards also may speak that we may uncover certain difficulties currently overlooked. You know which we kind of did not expect to be there. For example, difficulties into our relationship, uh, into a field of our relationship where we thought that we are rock solid, all right? Or the same goes for one's career. It is just we have to be, we Scorpio have to be prepared for whatever reality comes into our way for the duration of that week and just accept it then it is the challenges that we have to overcome here we have the magician card well but that that's very peculiar because the magician card is about sovereignty it's about willpower and it is about you know determined action so that card points here as a challenge to be that way to be um with the willpower to have our sovereignty and to have our actions determined you know that card points that we may as soon as we realize you know what is going on uh, we may become or um, fall into a state of being frantic to fix the issue here and the more frantic we are the more the issue is going to grow and develop and that's why we have to rather calm ourselves down for some reason as well as the magician is about um, is about communications we may not face the appropriate understanding from the people that we are trying to explain our problems and that immediately tells us that probably Scorpio whatever you we have to face uh, for the duration of that week we have to face it all alone and we have to deal with that thing all alone using our personal skills using our personal knowledge and uh, you know and maintaining um, as it is going to be difficult to do so maintaining our sovereignty as well our independence here and implicating implicating our willpower into the matter as um, you know no matter how difficult that is going to be and the last card it is about guidance how we can um, overcome these issues now the knight of cups very strange as well because the knight of cups does not really fit into um into the uh, flow of that particular reading but nine of cups a uh, knight of cups excuse me uh, has that extraordinary or very peculiar property in very rare occasions 
and it uh, it means that we should not leave anything to be decided by uh, by luck or by a chance but everything that we have to accomplish in this week has to be accomplished thanks to our uh, hard work so we Scorpio have to make it double time this week we have to roll our sleeves and just work to uh, kind of like extinguish should I say those predicaments of on, on our behalf into our situations which are making us feel very um, very despondent and as well which are making us feel you know um, that we are less of what we thought we are to overcome the tree of swords that pain from the truth we kinda came to a conclusion of either regarding our career or either regarding our relationship so if it is about our career we have to really work extra time or a double time as the American says you know and don't put a, a second thought into it if it is about our relationship then obviously this card points here that we have to kinda try to um, conserve the pleasant emotions into our uh, our relationship and that could happen only by us putting extra devotion into it only by us you know uh, trying to capitalize on the happy moments that we can have with our partner uh, into relationship etc etc because the knight of cups is one who is holding the dreams in front of his uh, in front of him you know and is pushing the horse that direction so it's important this week you Scorpio to recognize what you what you really want you know what makes you happy guys and start working for it do not do not leave the universe or the chance to give it to you do not wait for it just go and take it so because I I have read that into um, well I have kinda like encountered that particular sentence that whatever you are after you know does not belong to you by a right or by a chance but it does belong to somebody and that somebody has to take it so it does not belong to the one with right but it belongs to the one who takes it so whatever makes you happy you have to go there and take it you need to put the work behind it so you can you know take it alright so that was the tarot reading now let's see what the Lenormand card has to say for you guys or for us should I say because I am Scorpio as well for those who wonder uh, now the first one that will be the book which is a secret so we do have a truth and the book says a secret then it is about the dog so a secret about a friend of ours the dog is friendship loyalty and then we do have the clover <clears throat> so the clover speaks about a uh, small luck small chance petite gains so a secret about a, a friend who has uh, a friend of ours who has a, um, um, a you know petite gains but maybe those gains are interfering with us and the next card is about a, a woman so we do have I need I needed a fourth card so probably we do have something to do with this woman which our friend interferes with his personal gains in it and they kind of acted surreptitiously behind our back to us gain those gains that could be a, a love triangle here you know for example a friend of yours it's um, kind of like a, a not love triangle but in generally triangle it could be a, a friend of yours who is interacting with another friend of yours which uh, and it is getting a, a petite gains from them you know uh, behind your back because those gains are usually meant for you all right or it could be as, as well a love triangle if you are a male or if you like women you know etc etc but just so you know uh, or it could be you know that woman which is taking advantage of a, a friend of yours and is getting petite gains from it and no one tells you anything so um, overall I don't think that this particular reading here or, or this particular truth that you're going to um, 
realizing that week is going to be a life-breaking thing all right it's going to be rather unpleasant you know for those who are more sensitive than usual and that doesn't count me because I am extremely not sensitive uh, they will just you know don't mind it they will just say whatever you know friends there are friends everywhere etc etc uh, they will not pay too much attention to it, but for those who are much sensitive, then that will be a great deal, especially having the Six of Pentacles here, which points that you do have a, a history with that person, which kind of acted surreptitiously behind your back and put some dividends out of, um, out of, not you in general, but out of your situation, should I say that way. And that could be an end, uh, an end of a friendship, it could be the end of a partnership, it could be the end as well of a, um, of a romantic relationship. So that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 10th to September 16, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and I hope that you can make sense of it. Again, this is a general reading for your star sign, and uh, I I can tell you the synergy and the meanings of the cards, but it is up to you to make the sense of it and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to align them to your personal situation and to make a sense of them, then you go for a personal reading and to do so, all that you need to know is my website listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find my, uh, the full list of my services as well, there, as, well as their pricings. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye.